in this video i'm going to share how you can come into the uk to pursue an initial teacher training in early years so it's called early years initial teacher training so it's a funded program that i feel you can explore even if you are outside the uk or you are in the uk this is a fantastic opportunity that you should not miss see if you're interested in coming into the uk to study as a teacher i promised you guys that see this is your time to shine. Another thing is that you must not be a teacher to grab this opportunity. I'm going to state the requirements for this particular, you know, opportunity, how you can go about it, the emails you need to contact to establish your interest, because it's not every um, educational provider that offers such an opportunity. And this opportunity is through the DFE, which is the Department for Education. If this interests you, then you need to watch this till the end. Hello, everybody. My name is Cynthia. I share information that will help your transition abroad to be as smooth as possible. I share information about settling, working, or studying in the UK. If you're interested in doing any of these things I've mentioned here, then you need to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so that each time I drop a new video, you know it's time to watch Cynthia Academy. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your love and support. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. And keep sharing these videos with your friends and families. Do not hold information. I love it when people send me a message and say, hey, I sent your videos to some people and now they're in the UK and... They just wanted to say thank you to me. And now like, oh, this is good. You just follow the instructions in my videos and you will get it. However, I know that sometimes you might need that extra support. You want tailored advice one-on-one. -on -one. Then you can reach out to me, send me a DM and we can help you get what you need. If your plan and your dream is to relocate to the UK, then I'll help you coming to the uk and it's not news anymore that the uk is in need of teachers see there are some professions that are in high demand in the uk and teaching is one of them now this is a fantastic opportunity if you have the skills you have the passion you have the zeal to teach then you should grab these opportunities and now i'm going to be talking about early years initial teacher training it's just one opportunity that many people don't talk about i'll put the link to whatever i'm doing in the description box i don't miss it i always leave it there so that you can explore it in your own time try to understand it and know what documents are missing i'm talking about you should be gathering your documents by now because once they want to recruit for the year september 2025 they open opportunities from october to april now if you miss the window, it's closed and you should be gathering all your documents. Just save up and get your UK ENRIC or ECCTIS. This is one of the major things that you need to submit an application. And without wasting time, let's get into this video. Straight up, I'll be sharing my screen so that you can see exactly how it appears on the government website. And you can follow the instructions I share here. Open your browser type get into teaching.education.gov.uk now this is what the website looks like then under the search bar up there top right type become an early years teacher so um you can see as i am typing it there and you see this option here life as an early teacher age group this become an early years teacher click on that now you can see this page has opened it's going to tell you a bit about what you're going to be involved with it says early years are critical in children's development and you'll be taking care of young children up to the age of five it's called ey ITT, that's early years initial teacher training. And you can see here that they said if you want to teach in primary school or reception or secondary school, then you require a QTS. So you don't need a QTS for this. Now, what do you need to become an early years teacher? There are two ways to 
go about it. The first one is to get a postgraduate training and it says that you need a bachelor's degree or equivalent. For example, a vocational, professional, overseas qualification. It says to start the early years teacher training, you will need these GCSE qualifications. So make sure you have that maths grade four, English grade four and science grade four C. So that's something. You can also read further information if you are a non-UK candidate. You can apply for LES initial teacher training if you meet all of the following. That's academic entry criteria and immigration permission for non-UK candidates. So they can give you this uh, sponsorship. That's immigration permission. You apply for a visa to stay back in the uk to pursue this training now i'm just going to click on that so that we can explore it and you get more aware of what is required international students can be offered funded eyitt places as long as the applicant meets all the academic entry criteria for eyitt course and the relevant immigration permission as you can see here they're asking for two main things a standard equivalent to grade c or four in the GCSE examinations in English, Maths, and a science subject. And there's the second one, which is a first degree of a UK higher education institution or equivalent qualification. So your first degree, they're not even asking for a particular course to cover. So it creates an awareness that many people are eligible for this, but many people are not exploring it. Now it says that international students can be awarded EYTS in the usual way on completion. Now this um, important aspect, it says that potential international students can check visa eligibility. And when you click on it, it will take you to the government website where you're going to start to check your visa eligibility. So this is something you can explore on your own. Let's go back to the page so I can explore the information on it. It says routes to LES teacher status. Now it's telling you how much it's going to cost. It said cost your cost fee of up to seven thousand pounds are covered by the Department of Education and are paid directly to the training provider. You do not need to do anything to assess this fund. Now salary, there's no salary, but length of training is typically one academic year, and qualification is early years teacher status. And with this, seriously, you will get a job in the UK. You get a visa sponsorship job. It says that bursaries are only a available for this route as follows. £5,000 if you have a first class degree, £4,000 if you have a 2-1 degree, and £2,000 if you have a 2-2 degree. You are not eligible for a bursary if you do not have these qualifications or if you are completing any other EYITT. We will visit this link later, but for now, let's go through the opportunities here. Postgraduate employment based training. So they said this route is for graduates working in an early year setting, and there are funding av available £7,000. There is also for undergraduates. Remember that if you're coming out from maybe if you're coming from outside the UK, these things will not be available to you. Let's just click on find early years training providers so this would give you the people who you need to contact the emails are here you know the name of the providers are here these are people you need to contact if you want to apply for this see you have to be checking for graduate entry yes because that's what we want the one that the funding is seven thousand pounds and they will give you five thousand if you have a first class you know and others now just take a look at this when choosing somewhere you want to pursue your studies please make sure you go to a city that is affordable london is cool but when you are trying to convert your home country's currency to pounds it's crazy right now that one pound is 2300 naira something like that so you have to be cautious of where you choose I'm just saying choose wisely. London is cool if you have someone you can stay with. Anyway, so just choose the one that has graduate entry. Yes, send them an email, professional email. Don't write without a subject. Ha allow that email to have a subject. Write very well. And if you're struggling, just go to ChatGBT to help you write, you know, that you are interested in this early years teacher training and you want to know what is the process now if you're already a graduate 
um, working in that area, then you don't have to worry. You can just apply for the graduate employment based one, which they say, yes, they can actually give you that training. Now, that's about it. Let's just go back to that link I talked to you about. It is the LES Initial Teacher Training 2004-2025 Funding Guidance. And here they have repeated everything we have discussed already. And they said they offer funding for two out of the four early year routes, training routes. So we know that the graduate entry routes, they offer funding for it. And graduate employment-based routes, these are the only routes. That's why I said choose wisely when you want to send an email to request um joining the program and as usual you're already aware that it's seven thousand pounds grant and it's not going to be a full payment so you have to pay up the remaining aspect of your school fees and you can see here that it also states further things if you are if you want to pursue the graduate employment based routes you can see it says in paid employment in any year setting just read everything here I know I just feel like many of us are not qualified for this. Maybe if you're in the UK already and you're a graduate and you are employed already. So just read everything. If you qualify, that's good. But remember, the undergraduate entry is not sponsored. You need to have access to student loans. That's it means you must be British or you have ILR to go into it. And the assessment base own is not sponsored too. So just be aware. Now, training bursaries is just a repetition for you to see that tier one is five thousand pounds, tier two four thousand, and tier three is two thousand pounds for different honor degrees. So it depends on what you have. Then you read all the qualifications here, and also note that if you have a third class, they said they won't give you anything for that. Trainees who do not hold a degree are not eligible for a bursary. You see, there's an email contact here if you need further guidance. Maybe you want to find out, can I bring dependents? These are the people you would ask questions. And eligibility, so important that you gather what documents you need. You need to meet the entry requirements. Remember that you need your degree as well as your work. Now, I say take a qualification postgraduate entry course hold a uk first degree with at least second class honors or equivalent not already holding an early year teacher status or early years professional status not to do any type of paid teaching work while carrying out this program note that bursaries will be paid in 10 monthly installment so it's 500 pounds for 5000 pounds bursary award 400 pounds for 4000 pounds and 200 pounds for 2000 pounds if you read further here you would see different examples of how they would likely pay you the bursary different scenarios you can go ahead and read it there's also information about withdrawals and deferrals and all that if you know someone that needs this video then share it with them don't hoard information thank you so much for watching this video and if you're interested in getting pgc plus qts in physics or other languages then you need to be watching this video here this will give you all the information you need to relocate into the uk i hope this video blesses you i'll see you in my next video Bye bye